Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 to 4 Raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is. If then you are raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. St. Paul is explaining true Christian behavior. People have found a long-lasting happiness by following the behaviors that Christ explained as being acceptable to the Father. We now live in a temporal, a temporary life. By accepting Jesus' teachings and internalizing them, you will come to live by new moral and ethical standards. Skipping down to verses 12 to 17, St. Paul gives us a plan, a path to follow on our journey to heaven. Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these put on love, that is, a bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, and the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Therefore, the path to follow is live with a compassionate and forgiving attitude. Live in love, which leads to perfect harmony. Live by allowing Christ to rule your hearts. Live in thanksgiving for the past, present, and future gifts of our Lord's grace. Live by allowing God's word to guide your life. Live as a representative of God, a model of Christian lifestyle. In Luke we read, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Recall Matthew 27:52. The tombs also were open, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. St. Paul is pointing out to the Colossians that they should not focus their lives and actions on the benefits of this world, but should focus on the next. Matthew 16, 26, and 27. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his life? Or what shall a man give in return for his life? For the Son of Man is to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay every man for what he has done.